My name is Penny. I'm a 58-year-old working mother. My husband, Max, is 55 years old, and he was laid off two years ago, so he's unemployed now, but I'm able to cover our living expenses with my income. My husband and I have two daughters. Our eldest daughter is named Paige, and she is 35 years old. She is from my previous marriage with my ex-husband. She's married, and she lives with her husband now. I'm currently living with my second daughter, Rachel, and my husband. Rachel is 27 years old, and she works a corporate job. But when I'm at home, I constantly feel alienated. My husband and I remarried after we both got divorced from our previous marriages. I brought Paige into our new family, and Max brought Rachel into our new family. Rachel, who we are currently living with, is from my husband's previous marriage. We were encouraged to remarry because of then 10-year-old Rachel. However, after getting married to Max and moving into a new house, Max and Rachel's demeanors changed. They both started calling me a housekeeper who does the chores and makes money. Even in that situation, I thought that Rachel was just craving for a mother's care, so I thought she was just testing me. I did the best I could with everything including household chores and working at the office. However, the situation only got worse from there. I can't join the conversation between Max and Rachel. The two of them also go out a lot together while I'm an outcast. Well, I guess I can bear being an outcast. Hey, why didn't you iron my shirt? When I was about to head out, Rachel tried to stop me. Huh? But I already ironed it. What? Have you already ironed it? But it's still so wrinkly! It's so wrinkly that it looks like someone! Someone who should be ironing my clothes properly! To my horror, Rachel threw the shirt. The shirt that I took time ironing was miserably thrown onto the floor. You should at least do the ironing yourself. When I responded a bit too strongly, Rachel made a grim expression on her face. I realized that I might have said too much, but it was too late. Daddy! Seconds after Rachel calls her father, he immediately appeared out of nowhere. What's the matter, Rachel? <sighs> Things just got messy. That old woman got angry at me, saying that she has no time to iron my clothes. <sighs> She's stating false claims again. When did I ever say that? What? Is that true? Nope, it's a big fat lie. He won't believe me if I say that though, so I don't say anything. She treats me disrespectfully because I'm not her real daughter! Oh boy, there she goes again. At least take care of your daughter! Why do I have to take care of my daughter who is in her late twenties? Um, I need to go to work now. So I jumped over the shirt on the floor and headed to the front door. What's with that attitude? How dare you treat Rachel cruelly just because she's not your birth daughter? Uh, I wonder who the cruel one is. Huh! Why did you even marry her in the first place? If you're going to remarry, you should have picked someone younger. I can't believe you married a wrinkly old woman. She is so embarrassing that I can't introduce her to anyone! I had no choice! I had to settle for her, because she was the only woman who was fine with marrying someone with a child. Plus, she was willing to do the chores at home! I hurriedly ran out the door, fleeing from the horrible words coming from my husband's mouth. This is how my day-to-day -day life is. That is why there is not a single day when I feel rested and relaxed. If only my husband starts working again and helps with the finances. Or if only Rachel gets out of the nest. That's what I think of every day. But thankfully, the day when all my wishes come true finally came. It happened on my day off. That day, my eldest daughter Paige came to visit. We were having tea and were happily chatting. Oh, it looks like the washing machine finished washing the clothes. So I'll go hang the clothes to dry, okay? You don't have to do that, Paige. You came all the way here to visit. So just relax and don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, Mom! My husband does the chores at home, so I'm gonna help out around here today. Thank you, Paige. I have a great idea. How about we go out for your favorite pudding? <gasps> Yippee! Pudding! I love pudding! You look so excited. <laughs> I was having a relaxing day forever with my daughter, Paige. That's when Rachel, who went out partying all night, came home in the morning. She didn't even announce to us that she's home. She headed straight to her father, who was sleeping on the sofa. Daddy! Listen, Daddy! Tom proposed to me! Huh? Proposed? 
So does that mean you're finally moving out of this house? What, really? She's finally moving out? Um, there's something about the way you said that. It's bothering me. I'm getting married, so it's just normal that I live together with my husband, right? So does that mean that she'll finally move out of the house? I secretly rejoiced inside because this would finally lessen my burden. But life is not that simple. Rachel grinned triumphantly. Unlike your husband, my fiancé is a very rich man. He's an entrepreneur who lives in a high-rise. He is a very competent man who also starts new businesses. But more importantly, Daddy, Tom said that he's planning on making a duplex so that we can live together with you. He asked if you want to live by the sea sipping cocktails when you retire. A house by the sea? That's a good idea. Hey, wait a second. He's already planning on a duplex? But we haven't met your fiancé yet. Let's think about it after inviting him over and having a chat over some food. That's right, everything sounds too good to be true. It makes me feel nothing but anxious. Uh-huh. This has nothing to do with the two of you. What do you mean by nothing to do with us? We're going to live together, right? <laughs> You're misunderstanding it. I was talking about my dad and his new wife. Huh? Hey, Rachel! What? New wife? Daddy, you should tell her already that you're going to divorce that old woman. What? Wait a second. What is happening here? Divorce and new wife? The only reason why you married her is because she has a job and also does the chores at home, right? My daddy has a young and beautiful lover who's 30 years old. He told me that he wants to marry her. What? Does he really want to get a divorce? What? Why do you sound so proud revealing his affair? It's all right, because Tom told me that he'll hire a housekeeper who'll do the chores. So he invited Dad and Melissa to live with us. M melissa H Who is that? The woman who Dad loves. Apparently she doesn't know how to cook and Dad is unemployed so they couldn't remarry. But since we'll be hiring a housekeeper, that's not a problem anymore. Also, Tom said that he'll provide for us. I'll have a younger mother soon. Ah, I'm so happy! That's right! I'm done using you! So let's get a divorce! With that said, we don't need an old mother and wife anymore. Cut ties with us! What? Are you sure you're okay with that? Huh? Oops, I was about to reveal how I truly felt. Frankly speaking, I was tired of Rachel's selfishness. That's when Paige spoke up. You have a lot of nerve to confess your adultery and ask for a divorce. Betrayal after 17 years of marriage. What's worse is that your daughter approved it. That will be at least $10,000. Well, it seems like a shady entrepreneur named Tom will pay for that, so it's not a problem, right? That's right. He'll pay whatever amount it will be. He has the financial capability to build a house by the sea after all. The four of us who will be newlyweds soon will live together happily. Hmm, is that so? Good for you then. All right then, divorce is final. We will give you a whole week, so pack up your things and move out within that period, okay? Mom, while they're busy moving their things out of the house, how about you come over to our house and stay there for the week? It might not be a house by the sea, but you'll be able to relax there. Really? You're fine with that? Huh? Why are you talking like that old woman will be keeping this house? We will pay you the alimony, but we won't hand you the house! Uh, Rachel! Won't hand it to us. But this house does not belong to you, right? Well, it doesn't belong to you, too. That's right. This house doesn't belong to Rachel or my mother. You're right. All right, then. Please decide who gets to keep the house. Paige. What? Of course, it's obvious that you're the one who should continue to live here, Mom. I guess you're right about that. <laughs> what? There's no way this house belongs to Paige. What nonsense are you saying? Uh, say something, Daddy! Uh, wait a second. Daddy? What? Daddy? You don't own this house? Of course he doesn't! Because this house originally belonged to my grandfather. Mom paid for the renovation of this house. I was 18 years old at the time, so in order to avoid inheritance trouble in the future, they put this house in my name. Did you know? What? Well, that's the situation. What? Rachel was stunned by her father's unreliable words. He truly is a very unreliable husband. With that said, make sure to pack up all your stuff and move out of this house within a week, okay? Huh! Alright, whatever! 
I'll just ask my darling to let me live with him in the high rise while our house by the sea is under construction. You can have this shabby house! Uh, but I, I own this house in the first place. We have a house by the sea anyway! You saved me from the hassle of selling this house! You're right! <laughs> well, well, they're pretending to be tough and unfazed. <laughs> Daddy! Hurry up and tell Melissa that you can remarry now! The four of us will be celebrating tonight! We left those two who seemed carefree dreaming of a glorious future, and then I went to Paige's house to live there for a while. It looks like Paige has a plan. She hasn't changed at all. My little girl looks like she's having fun. The next day, I submitted the divorce paper, and I put an end to our 17 years of married life. But this is just the beginning of the story. Max and Rachel kept on calling my number, but I ignored them all. Max was Paige's stepfather, but he was disinterested in her. So thankfully, he has no idea where Paige lives, so I felt safe here. One week later. Alright, let's go and take back our house. Paige decided to come with me. She has to say goodbye to her stepfather and stepsister after all. Alright, let's go get our house back. <laughs> That's right, let's do it. When we arrived at the house and went inside, their things were still inside the house. What's worse is that the house is in a mess. My ex-husband and ex-stepdaughter looked dumbfounded. Well, you look alive and well. Which part? <laughs> hey, why didn't you answer our calls? The moment Rachel saw us, she immediately ran towards us. I believed that you would come home. Of course I came back. This is where I live after all. Let's start our family again from zero! You're the only one I have, Penny! Let's annul our divorce, and let's live together again as a family! Oh my, just what I expected them to say. That's right, we expected that those two would say those exact words. Wait a second. I thought you had a young mother and wife. I thought that you were gonna live in a house by the sea, provided by your entrepreneur fiancé. You'll probably live happier in a high-rise than this shabby apartment, right? Um, there was a slight mishap and the marriage was postponed. Really? Oh, poor thing. How long is it postponed? Um, actually... Like, forever? <laughs> That's... Oh my, don't tell me that your fiancé was just a pie in the sky. Huh? What do you mean? We were saying that your fiancé doesn't exist in the first place. Of course, the high-rise and house by the sea, too. They're all lies. Also, that Melissa you were talking about is probably not a pie in the sky, but fictitious. Are you trying to say that it was my imagination? Melissa is a real person, and she exists! Rachel met Melissa, and I met Tom, too! That day when you walked out of the house, the four of us had a celebratory dinner together! Oh my, I know. Actually, after what happened, Paige followed and investigated them. She found some interesting information about them. What interesting information? Well, like this one. The day we had a celebration, I proposed to her, and I even prepared a marriage registration form. But she said some nonsense, and the next day, I couldn't contact her anymore. When I went to where Melissa was working, some scary looking men were there for some reason, and I was banned from there for no reason. I have no idea what in the world is happening. Oh my, that'd just be tough. <laughs> However, my slow husband doesn't seem to realize the serious state he's in. Do you really want to know? Alright then, I'll tell you. Huh? Oh, you're very kind, Paige. About Melissa who tried to make you your new wife? Well, actually, her real name is not actually Melissa. What? You're right. People in that industry usually don't use their real names at work. That's right. My ex-husband's lover is someone who works at a nightclub. Paige, please tell him. Aye aye, Mom. You might think that you're having an affair with this woman named Melissa, but according to her, she only sees you as one of her customers. It's an adult entertainment establishment where the host says things like, I want to marry you, or I love you, or something. When she said those words to you, I guess you thought she was serious. What? But because we're out together, and we also went on vacation together, she goes out to eat with other customers as well. 
Also, it wasn't only the two of you who went on vacation, right? When you told Melissa that you wanted to go on a vacation together with your daughter and your daughter's partner, she said that her mood was ruined. Wait, what? You talked to Melissa? Of course I did. She even mentioned that you brought out the marriage registration form and you asked her to sign it. Recently, your daughter also asked her about the marriage, so she got scared and banned you from the nightclub. Unfortunately, you weren't successful with remarrying someone in her 30s. Oh, and by the way, Melissa is a 45-year-old and she's married. What? what? 45, 45 years old? It seems like my ex-husband mistakenly thought that a pro in her industry was his girlfriend. And as for Rachel... I didn't meet my fiancé in a place like that. He told me that in order to build a house by the sea, he needs $300,000. He said that he lacks $50,000, so he asked me to put in that amount. Oh my, did you hand the money to him? Of course I gave the money to him. He, but he will pay me millions of dollars after all. But when I called him after I gave him the money, I couldn't reach his phone, and I searched for the address written on the marriage registration form, but the police doesn't exist. Rachel took out the marriage registration form and showed it to us. French Fry Street, California City, New York? That place doesn't exist! Oh my, I guess you easily got scammed. I know that! You don't have to say it like that out loud! The high rise in the house by the sea and the housekeeper were all lies! He just took my money with him and left me! Dad is unemployed and I already quit my job because I thought I was going to become a full-time housewife and when I asked my boss that I would withdraw my resignation, she rejected me! Dad and I don't know how to use the microwave, so we can't even heat the food we bought from the convenience store. And we also don't know how to use the washing machine, so I don't have much clean clothes left to wear. We don't know how to clean the house and I'm sick and tired of cold food. Please cook hot and steamy meals again! All I hear from them are pushing me to do the chores at home. Get a hold of yourselves! How old do you think you are? How pitiful is it for grown adults to cry because they can't do the chores? You don't have money? That's because you don't work. You have nothing to wear? Read the instructions and do the laundry yourselves. Don't know how to cook rice? Well then watch YouTube videos and learn how to cook. By the way, how to use the microwave and rice cooker are printed on the instruction manuals. So read them yourselves. But, but we don't know where the instruction manuals are. Penny, where did you store the instruction manuals? Oh my, why are you asking me like you're allowed to use my appliances? I'm the one who bought all these appliances. So read the instruction manuals of the appliances that you two will be buying. The appliances that we'll be buying? I won't be remarrying someone new, so we can live together again, right? Oh my, but our marriage is over too, so there's no way we can live together, right? Please don't say something so heartless. You won't kick your daughter out, right? Yes, of course not. I won't kick my precious daughter out of the house. M Mom! I will be living together with my only daughter and her husband, so strangers should get out of this house. Huh? But what are you saying? I'm also your daughter, Mom! But you're not my daughter anymore, after your father and I got divorced. Also, weren't you the one who said that we'll cut ties as a family? I was very happy at the time because I was finally free from the two of you. What? But wait, Mom! Don't call my mother like she's your mother. We agreed on you moving out of this house within a week. If you break your promise and stay here, I'll call the police. The police? Wait, Paige! But we don't have anywhere to go! We don't care. You better hurry up and leave. Don't forget that I have Mom's back. Oh, Paige. After that, the two of them still refused to not move out of the house. But when I took my phone out and threatened them to call the police, they finally walked out the door. They searched for apartments where they could live, and it seems like my ex-husband is working a part-time job, but I heard they're having a hard time because they can't do any of the chores. By the way, I only received about $10,000 as alimony, but I feel relieved that I was able to take back my house where I can be in peace. I am currently living together with Paige and her husband. I am enjoying our life together. Mom, I finished doing the laundry. I'm done with cleaning the house as well. It seems like my husband is nearly done with washing the dishes, so how about we go out for lunch at the cafe? That sounds like a great idea. I realize that if everyone helps with the chores, there's plenty of time left to enjoy. That's right, Mom. 
You don't have to do everything by yourself, okay? <laughs> it's nice to work together as a family. Let's continue helping each other out, Paige. <laughs> Thank you for watching! What kind of crazy people will we get to see next? Stay tuned for more!